if what you do makes a difference. It does. Welcome to the Get It Hot Show right here on TBP TV with me, your lawyer, host Daniela. The show is proudly brought to you by HS Media Institute and Alice Beauty Parlor. HS Media Institute is approved by GES and affiliated to ICM UK. The school offers both diploma and HND courses in journalism and media. You can locate HS Media Institute of Amasaman Obo Highway inside the Wuni Plaza building. For more inquiries, contact HS Media Institute on 0244-494-577. 0244-494-577. HS Media Institute, integrity with professionalism. Contact Alice Beauty Parlor for a flawless makeover and neat hair braids on 0559-542-558. 0559-542-558. A quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Salut, bonjour à tous. I'm Erika Josi, a proud former student of Arches Media Institute. Thanks to Arches Media, I achieved my goals and my dreams have come true. And today, I'm working as a journalist with the Pan African TV, Africa News. To you who have always dreamt of becoming a great journalist, I will recommend to you only one school and the best one, Arches Media Institute. With more than eight years of experience in training journalists from several countries, including Congo, Gabon, Kenya, and many more, Arches Media is the private media school you can really trust. Arches Media is located in Accra, Ghana. You can call them to the number below your screen. Arches Media, integrity with professionalism. Thanks for staying on. It's still the Get It Hot Show, where anything trending is said. Hot, 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 and hot. I'm Daniela. Trending today. Most celebrities are living fake lives on social media. TikTok star Asantiwa states, Ghanaian TikTok star Asantiwa has bad the never-ending claims on social media that suggest that about 90% of our celebrities are living fake lives on the ground. During Q&A sessions with her friends, Asantiwa categorically stated that most Ghanaian celebrities are very broke and hungry behind the scene. According to her, most celebrities and influencers borrow wig and other pricey items just to show off on the internet and later return them to the original owners. She continued that most internet users are even richer and doing well than most celebrities, just that they are not stars. This is not the first time a celebrity has come out to expose the fake life of her colleagues. Just recently, veteran actress Pascaline Edwards blasted her colleague actress who lied to young girls that they made their fortune from acting. As claimed by her, acting in movies alone can never make anyone rich in Ghana. In another story, married Ghanaian woman simply identified on TikTok as Franca has reportedly been divorced by her husband following her training naked TikTok video. Franca, who reportedly has four kids with the last one being just nine months old, went live on TikTok to show off her nakedness in the presence of her husband, who appears to be naive about social media. As seen in the first trending clip, Franca was sleeping next to the husband on their matrimonial bed when she decided to interact with her followers on TikTok. During their infamous interaction, she decided to show some flesh after she was dead by one of her followers. In a bid to prove that she is a hardcore woman, Franca, who was wearing nothing but had a piece of blanket covering her nakedness, decided to take it off and show her tonga, raw buttocks, and breasts. Initially, Franca never envisioned that the short clip would take over social media trends and have a negative impact on her marriage. But unfortunately, her fears have come to pass. Netizens who have come across the video have advised Franca's husband to immediately divorce her because she doesn't respect him. Well, new reports, which are currently fast circulating on TikTok, allege that Frank's husband has left home and annulled their marriage in the process. This report could be false, hence we are digging deep for more evidence. Stay tuned. So our last trending story for the day. Man assaulted to death after inflicting catalyst wounds on wife. A young man has reportedly died at Wurampon, a farming community in Yellow Krobo municipality in Eastern Region, after he was allegedly assaulted by some youth in the community for inflicting catalyst wounds on the wife. 
The deceased, identified only as Francis, allegedly butchered the wife during misunderstanding. Some angry youths in the community apprehended and severely assaulted him, took him on a motorbike, but while on the route to police station, the youth claimed he jumped off in an attempt to escape leading to his fatal injury. He was rushed to clinic at Klo Agogo, but was referred to Eastern Regional Hospital, where he reportedly died on arrival. That's all for today on the Get It Hot Show right here on TVP TV. I remain a lawyer host, Jenny Love. The show was probably brought to you by Access Media Institute and Alice Beauty Palom. If today is your first time coming across our videos, kindly subscribe, comment, like, and share. Stay tuned for more updates.